All right, so Joe Green is here, and uh, he's a financial expert. So if there are any questions you have regarding money, like you drive around your car, you're on your way to work, I wonder if it's a good time to buy real estate. I wonder if I should do something with my 401k. You I wonder should. if I should put my savings into 401k. Now's the time. Or Call rob a bank. 203-882-WPLR. Uh, or nine seven five seven toll free one eight seven seven the letter R the word Nicholas two zero three eight eight two nine seven five seven. What do you do with your four hundred one k money? Leave it where it is. Well, you, I would say you keep it invested. Um, Don't put it in a pillow case. I would not do that. That doesn't work, really. Uh, uh, here's here's what's interesting is the, uh, the obvious problem with keeping money in cash is that inflation just sort of erodes the value. So whatever dollars you have sticking under your pillow are going to buy a lot less. If you take them out, you know, three to five years from now than they do right now. Um, and, y- you know, uh, even though everyone's worried, we have this phrase that we use all the time in, in investing. It's the markets climb a wall of worry. What that means is you have to have some risk in the system. You have to have some fear in order for there to be opportunity. When nobody's worried about anything, there's no opportunity. Think 1999, peak of the tech bubble. Nobody's worried about anything. Everything's going to be fine. It's great forever. That's when everything's extremely overpriced. Right now, when things are worried, that's when you're going to find bargains. But you have to be you just have to be careful about how you do it. Um, I would be a big advocate of saying you need to hire professional money managers vis-a-vis a mutual fund or you know separately managed accounts. What are ways. some good sectors you think are strong? Um, <laughs> and so, look, this guy is gold, just, right? this is his opinion. Okay? Be, yeah, that, so that's you fair. just take it for what it's worth. Not to be taken as legal or tax advice. Don't write yeah, this down. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll put it this way. When things like this happen, I like to look out as long term as possible because it, the, things get more uncertain in the short term. So in my opinion, it's easier to look out further forward and say, hey, what's going to be going? What are the trends that are going to continue for 20 or 30 years over your investing life? Um, and even if you're 50, you, you can easily well, what do you like? in 30 years. 20, 30 years, what do you like? Uh, energy is one of the things that I think is is definitely not going away. The world just consumes more and more energy. So themes like companies that own oil and natural gas resources and coal resources, we're all going to consume Oil's more. Oil's not it. going away anytime soon. What about no. solar? No. No. Uh, solar is very appealing, but you have to be like, for example, there were two companies in the last month or so that have received the U.S. aid, federal you know, federal aid, uh, federal loans. Story. Uh, yeah, that have declared bankruptcy. Nah. So you have to be, the federal government's not doing a very good job at picking its companies. Uh, you have to be a little bit more cautious. I'd say there's a place for it, but it's not going to make up the majority. Oil's been around forever, not going anywhere anytime soon. And you will see $100 a barrel oil probably in the next 12 to 18 months again. Hey. So be ready for that.